One thing that a lot of people can agree on is that Jay-Z and Beyonce would do literally anything to get their way. Trust me, they don't call him Jehovah for nothing. I think everybody that knows Sean Carter knows that he will slump anyone in any relationship for a dollar. Look at how he did Dane. But how far exactly did they go with 50 Cent? Is it true that they have always tried to sabotage him? Obviously, Jay-Z and 50 are not the best of friends. And for those who recall, everything heated up after G-Unit catapulted to global stardom, dethroning Jay-Z on Forbes Hip Hop Cash Kings list in 2008. And if there's one thing I know about Sean Carter, he does not like not being the best. In fact, at the same time, in an interview with Rolling Stone, 50 agreed and accused Jay-Z of mistreating Rockefeller artists like Benny Siegel and Freeway, with whom he tried to work with, saying, he has a king complex. He thinks he's Jesus. You know what I mean? This j ho he said something one time I didn't like. Those little things, subliminal things. For me, that's the punk way to do things. Let's just say that 50 was right about one thing. Jay has a king complex and he would do whatever he needs to get his way. And that includes his wife too, who has no problem even going as far as getting physical. Remember when 50 said Queen B almost jumped him in Vegas when he was greeting Jay because she assumed he was confronting him? <laughs> so Beyonce jumped down on you. She jumped out. She was like on a windowsill. Right. We was in Vegas. She said, I come on, I'm talking to her. She jumped out. She was like, duh, duh, duh. and I'm like, wait, what did you do? That stuff, that's me and Jay-Z stuff. This ain't got nothing to do with you, bro. Mm-hmm. Well, 50 was also glad that it was B who confronted him and not her sister Solange, because we all know what would have happened if it was Solange jumping from that window, see you, honey. Solange was Solange was there, I would have had to uh, reboot. <laughs> <laughs> Solange was like, she, she popped in that elevator like it was nothing. <laughs> was some gangster shit going on, AJ. So Jay, so Jay couldn't do nothing, huh? Luckily, things didn't escalate, even though 50 said B was ready to jump on him. Nah, she came like she was ready, She's like ready. I thought something was going to happen. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> She's throwing me off now. Because I don't know what exactly how to respond to this. <laughs> <laughs> you are still Beyonce. You know, she brought all of the sexy over. But that is, she jumped off. Speaking of Beyonce, allegedly one of the sacrifices Jay-Z had to make so that they always remain on top is drugging Beyonce. Hardly nobody knows, but I'll say it, man. Yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She been on them for a long time and you keep her that way. Y'all wish it what you wish it to stay on top. But there's one thing about me, bro. I can't be bought. And one person who certainly agreed that Jay has Beyonce on something heavy to control her and their entire empire is Jaguar Wright. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in the uh, uh, No, girl. <laughs> Not my uh, uh, beautiful Beyonce five. I tell you this right now, y'all talking about free Britney. Y'all need to be doing a, a campaign that say free Beyonce. Uh, Beyonce is free. She is a prisoner in a gilded cage. Just imagine if he can go to such extents of sacrifices when it comes to his own wife, what more could he possibly do to other people? So much worse, right? At one point, 50 even slammed Jay-Z and Beyonce for sabotaging Nas when they released their album at the same time as him. Yeah, it was f they did to the Nas. <laughs> <laughs> That's f you, you. I know what you did to Nas, Jay. <laughs> I feel like nah. He come out on the same weekend. This still slapping him without everybody noticing what's going on. Apparently, it went even deeper than that. If you really read into it, because Kanye West was the executive producer of the Nas album, and Jay and Kanye have definitely not had the best relationship. And if you ask Kanye, he will probably tell you that Jay and Beyonce are just backstabbing snakes. In fact. He is one of the people they sacrificed and threw under the bus just to get what they wanted. Kanye even once publicly slammed Jay-Z and Beyonce on stage during his concert and claimed that Beyonce blackmailed the VMAs and told them she won't show up unless she wins video of the year. And for those who remember, Kanye went on another one of his rants and publicly called out Beyonce and Jay-Z for being controlled. They can't control me, you get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq. They could control Charles Barkley. 
They could control LeBron James. They could control Jay-Z and Beyonce. But not you, man. But they can't control me. Not you see, you. it ain't no name I won't name. It's up. Anyway, when it comes to 50 Cent, don't even think for a second that the feud is over because as recently as 2022, Jay-Z tried to sabotage him. Like Jay purposefully left 50 out of the 2022 Super Bowl halftime commercial and 50 himself spilled all about it on Big Boy's Neighborhood. I wasn't in the ad right. because of, Jay-Z and them was putting it together. Mm -hmm. So I, I think they still harbor some energy towards me. 50 also recalled how Nori confided in him and told him about Eminem petitioning to have 50 Cent included in the show, something that Nori himself also revealed. I have to ask him this straight up. So I said, yo, who is the people that's on NFL? And, and he said to me, the white guy called for, for 50 Cent. So I said, who's, who's the white guy? I'm, I'm digging this. Timmy Iveen, mm -hmm. he said, no, Eminem called directly for 50. And he said, That's yo, his guy. he said, I can't do it if I can't break 50. In addition, 50 also strongly believes that the NFL claims that they had issues with him were really a call by Jay-Z to keep him out of the halftime show ad. Also, just the other day, when 50 appeared on The Beat with Ari Melber, he subtly suggested that with Jay, it's always about business, which means that he would make whatever kind of sacrifice to ensure he is always in business and doing good. What happened was that Ari asked 50 Cent to respond with a word or a sentence when he mentioned an artist. He started with Eminem and 50 said, the best. When asked about former G-Unit member Lloyd Banks, he was more reserved, saying, cool. He was warmer with G-Unit's Tony Yayo and said, that's my boy, loyalty. When asked about himself as a rapper, he laughed and said, still got it, man. Ari then asked about other rappers like Future and he said, talent. About Nas, he said, the best. But when asked about Jay-Z, he paused grand and said good business other than 50 there have been a couple of other people who've suggested that jay and beyonce would sacrifice anything for their success in fact there were even rumors that jay plotted to get rid of biggie smalls so that he could be the biggest hip-hop artist jay-z and puffy wanted biggie bottom line you don't have to believe me believe the facts here's a man that wanted to leave bad boy. He wanted to do his own thing. He mentioned several times how he was tired of being used and abused, that he was bigger than bad boy itself. Jay-Z wanted him out of the industry period so he could take over and be the biggest hip hop heart artist around. And I wonder who's the biggest hip hop artist today. It's all business, folks. And when I'm talking sacrifices, I'm talking even going to satanic measures to maintain their status. I'm not the one calling out Beyonce and Jay-Z for being satanic, though. Other people are, including people who were once very close to them, like Larry Johnson. Well, it's obviously they've been controlled by Satanism. I mean, I'm not really scared to say that. We all know Luciferians, Freemasons, and all occult knowledge that, that was drugged up from Egypt have now surfaced itself in American society. Obviously, they're not serving the same most high God that I am. And that's what makes us enemies, that I stand for a completely different doctrine, a completely different nation, and a completely different truth than he does. And the deaths both Beyonce and Jay-Z have been linked to? <laughs> my oh my, the list goes on. So yeah, Jay-Z and Beyonce would do anything to have their way, and 50 sure as well knows it, and so do I. But to what extent do you think Beyonce and Jay-Z would go to have their way? Sound off in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts.